Welcome to StatLab StatCrunch Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about graphing paired data sets using StatCrunch. So what exactly are paired data sets? When one entry in one data set corresponds to one entry in the second data set, they are called paired. So in this case, if a student if a teacher has on the average 17.1 students, her salary would be 28.7 in thousands. And if a teacher had 20 students, then her salary would be 40.3 in thousands. So the best way to graph this paired data set is by using a scattered plot. So let me go ahead and do that for you. So graph scattered plots. The x variable is the number of students per teacher. And the y variable is the salary depends on the students. So it's going to be the average teacher's salary. <coughs> excuse me and my point size would be a three I would just say and the colors I would pick soft colors you can play with these and okay I think the soft colors did not work let me go back and change the colors to basic colors okay now this would work so you see that if the salary is 17 if on the average, if, uh, let me go ahead and change here. If a teacher had 17 students, then the salary would be less than 30,000 here. So this graph would give you an interpretation. Now, if a teacher had 20 students, then her salary would be 40.3 or whatever this number is going to be. <coughs> excuse me so this is how you draw a scattered plot now moving on to the next data set in this data set I have 2002 year 2002 year 2003 year 2004 and the subscribers so this data set is the cellular subscribers in year 2002 3 4 and the number of subscribers in millions now when I look at this data, this is also a paired data, but this, the data is being taken in regular intervals of time. So if a data set is composed of quantitative entries taken at regular intervals over a period of time, then it's called time series. And we usually do that in time series chart. It's exactly like the scattered plots. You simply go to graph scatter plot the x variable is your years and your subscribers and then instead of points i'm going to click lines and the color every time i pick a color just okay red and blue scale and i'm going to click compute so you see that this time series chart tells me that as the years have been passing by the number of subscribers have been increasing. So you're still going to use the same scattered plot, but this is going to be a time series chart. You're going to use a line here, and the other one you're going to be using a dots. Hope this helps.